first things first, log into Mastodon. If you're new here, this is probably more or less what you see. Up in the upper left corner, there's your Mastodon handle, so click on that to see your profile. Right now, I do have a verified uh, check mark on this account, but that's because I was doing another video about how to do the same process on WordPress, which you could, should check out if you're using WordPress. For now, we're going to do it with plain HTML, a custom-coded website. First, click Edit Profile. In your Edit Profile screen, scroll down to the Profile Metadata section. This section has four different items that you can add for reference. One of them already has been occupied by me, by my WordPress website, but I'm going to add another one now. So I'll just call it HTML, and then I will copy my web address and paste that into this field. Now this isn't going to be verified yet, but I want you to be able to see what an unverified reference looks like. So I'm clicking Save Changes. No, I'm not clicking Save Changes yet. I'm going over to the right side of the screen, Verification, and there's a big long link here, some special verification code that Mastodon needs you to paste into your website. So I'm going to click the Copy button there to get that into my clipboard. I'll need that soon. Now I'm going to click Save Changes. I'll click back to Mastodon just so you can see uh, what an unverified slot looks like. So this is something that's not been verified, and that's fine. But we do want it to be verified. So whatever you use to code your website in, I'm just doing it with this online editor, but whatever you use, go to that and find the page that you want to add your link to. I'm going to put it in my footer. So I'll just put visit me on and then instead of typing out Mastodon, I'm going to paste in the link that I just got from my profile page. This is the verification link proving that the person editing that Mastodon page is the same person editing this website. I'll click my Save button here, and now I'll go to my example website.tk. There's my website. And sure enough, down here at the bottom of the website, there's a Visit Me on Mastodon link. I can click on that, verify that that actually goes back to my profile. You don't have to click on it. I'm just showing you that that does indeed take me to my profile. There's nothing really special about the link except this rel me section. That's the, the, the really significant part. So there you go. That's That's been done. Now I'll go back over to my Mastodon profile page. I'm going to reload just to show that this still hasn't been verified. Now, in my experience, if you are happy to wait for a couple of hours, this will eventually resolve itself. It will find your verification code on your index.html page. But if you want to see it right now, instantly, you can just go into your into the, the web address that you're telling Mastodon about and add index.html, save that change, go back to Mastodon, click your Mastodon handle, and then you see the green check mark. So Mastodon essentially wants to see the exact location on a website that you control where you were able to paste that verification code that they provide in your profile. And that establishes for people that if they trust that website enough to believe that it's really you, then they can trust that you are also this person in Mastodon because you were able to make changes to that website. For that same reason, if you don't code your own website and you don't have direct access to, to your website because maybe you don't know how to code, that's okay. You can tell your tech person, the person who maintains your website, if you send that person this verification code in an email or something, then they'll be able to take that and include it somewhere on your website. And then that will show up as verified. So that's all you need to tell them is that that, that link needs to appear somewhere on a website and the address to that link, 
the exact URL pointing back to that to the page that contains that special verification link is what you would put in your profile to get that green tick mark. So if your tech person says that they've placed it on, I don't know, my example website slash verified dot HTML, then that's what you would put into your profile. So whatever your tech person says that they've, wherever they've pasted that link, that's what you want to put into your profile. And as I said, if it's not an exact page, but it is on the, the, the front page of your site, it might just take a little while for Mastodon, at least in my experience, it takes about an hour or two hours for Mastodon to sort of find it. Otherwise, you can just give it the exact URL to the point that that contains that link, and it'll it'll be there. Uh, you'll get the green tick mark instantly. I hope that helps. Thanks, and I'll see you around on Mastodon.